Afternoon all. It must be Saturday because I'm watching hockey all day again today and I've looked ahead at the schedule. Every Saturday it's the same. So I may start pre-recording videos to post live on the channel on Saturdays because I just I don't have time to do videos or even make up boards or anything. All right, so we're going to start things off looking at Buffalo and Detroit. And this felt like a playoff game. And maybe Detroit's getting things together. We will see. Obviously, one game tells you just what that one game tells you. We'll see if they can maintain it. Uh, they've been a very hot and cold team. Maybe this is a sign things are starting to heat up for them. So it's Lucan versus Reimer. Good early back and forth. Sabres press at two minutes. Zarnix denied on a rush. The shots are two to one for the wings. Three minutes in. Uh, Sabres are a post away from the lead. Uh, Cousins has a shot that deflects out. We get a power play for Detroit. There's a shorthanded rush by Clifton. The wings cycle. There's another clear. Sprong has a shot that's blocked. That power play is killed off. Uh, Olofsson has a chance that's held. The shots are 7-4 to four Buffalo at the half. They end up drawing a power play and they score first. At 11.22, it's Thompson from Darlene. Uh Nice cycle play. Took 15 seconds. Buffalo's ahead. So they're controlling the game at this stage. They've got a 1-0 lead. Things not looking great for Detroit at this point. Uh, but the Wings look to respond. Debrinket has a slot shot that goes wide. The Sabres clear. Uh, Gergensen's can't bury one in close. Uh, Krebs has a slot shot that's held via a turnover. Perron has a one-timer that's saved. The Sabres rush. It's 1-0 Buffalo after one. Second period. Uh, things get punchy at 21 seconds. We end up with an early Sabres power play not long after. Uh, the Sabres cycle. It's cleared. Shorthanded Confer chance gets held. Byram hits the outside of the post. Puck's cleared out after that. Uh, power play's killed off. Uh, and then it's cleared after that's done. Kane has a tip shot. That's held. Shots and hits. And hat's not fitting right, right now. I don't know why. Anyways, uh, shots are three apiece at four and a half minutes. The wings press and they get the goal to tie it. It's Fisher. Uh, he buries one as he's fallen to the ice. Cop and Sider with the assists at 533. And then the wings press for the lead. Uh, things get punchy on a hold by Lukanen. Uh, the wings press at seven and a half minutes. There's a near miss for Zarnik. The wings press some more. Uh, wings draw themselves a power play. There's an early clear, and then the Sabres clear it again. Then there's a shorthanded near miss by Clifton, who was jumping into a rush there. Uh, the Wings cycle, it's cleared out again. That power play is killed off. Uh, the Wings press after it's done. Robinson fires one wide from the slot. Goss to spare. Fires high on an open net. It felt like that was going to be a major turning point, but uh, during that same set of plays, Kane buries one from the side of the net to give Detroit their first lead of the day. Confer and Goss to spare with the assists at 17.40. And then the Wings press for another. Uh, Zarnik has a backhand that's held. It's 2-1 to trade after one. Third period. Uh, back and forth. Good early flow to this. Not a lot of whistles. The Sabres press at four and a half minutes. Darlene goes beast mode. Can't get to the net though. So beast mode just means he's got the puck on a stick. Nobody can get it away from him. But he couldn't get to the net either. Shots are only one apiece. Five minutes in. It would pick up from there. Not by a lot though. Like this wasn't a crazy third period. There's more zone time for the Sabres. They're kept to the outside. Uh, Cider has a hit on Thompson that draws some cheers. The wings are blocking the path to the net at this stage. There's a net feed to Benson. It's blocked and cleared. Uh, Comfer has a one-timer that's denied. The Sabres clear. And then Sprong. Buries one from the left circle through a screen. Fabry with the assist. That's at 13.52. The Sabres press. The goalie pull happens with four minutes and ten seconds left because they're down by two. Uh, icing by the Sabres with 3.12 left. Buffalo would call a timeout. Uh, things get pushy on a hold by Reimer. And then they get pushy on another hold by him. And then... Uh, Raymond hits the empty net from Rasmussen and Kopp at 18.53. Your final score is 4-1 for Detroit. They go to 34-27-6 with the much-needed victory. With the loss, Buffalo 32-31-5. And, and this is a major blow to their playoff hopes, especially with the other results that have happened. And we've got a lot of games to come today. So shots on net, 10-8 Buffalo in the first. 12-8 Detroit in the second. 8-6 Buffalo in the third. Both teams had 26 shots in this one. Power plays Buffalo 1-2, for two, Detroit 0-2. Oh the hits 27 to 26 Buffalo. Lukanen saves 22 out of 25. Reimer saves 25 out of 26. All right. And the other early game, which is complete, the Ottawa Senators and the New York Islanders. Obviously, the Islanders need to keep pace with Detroit. They do have one game in hand on Detroit, but you, you got to keep pace too. So it's Corpusella versus Varlamov. Varlamov. Uh, no shots on net two minutes in. We get a power play for the Islanders. Dobson has a shot's kicked side. It's cleared out. It was quite a power play, but right after it ends, 
Martin scores from Clutterbuck and McLean at 4 minutes and 27 seconds on a wraparound. So the identity line gets a goal there. It's 1-0 Islanders. The Sens press for response. Engvall fires wide on a rush. Engvall was, uh, was prominent today, just could not get a goal. Uh, the Islanders press at six minutes. The shots are three to two for the Islanders at six and a half minutes. Barzell's robbed in close. There's then a rush chance for Barzell, which is blocked. Uh, Clutterbuck to Martin near miss. The Sens rush. Engvall hits the outside of the net. Stutzla has a rush that's defended. The Islanders press with four and a half minutes left. We have a post for Barzell. Puck's cleared out. Back-to-back uh, -back icings by the Islanders. It was really a very Islanders game in its feel at this point. Not a lot of shots. And just very, very quiet game overall. Um, 1.43 left. The Sens get a power play. They cycle. Puck's cleared out. Giroux has a shot that's blocked. There's a shorthanded rush chance for Clutterbuck. That's blocked as well. It's 1-0 Islanders after one. Second period. The Islanders finish the kill. Uh, there's a post for Batherson after. The Senators press. We then get a power play for the Isles. There's an early clear, and then the Sens clear it out again. Uh, a shorthanded Joseph uh, chance hits the outside of the net. There's a near miss for Horvat. They cycle. Horvat then has a tipped shot, that saved, it's cleared out, that power play is killed off as well. Uh, Horvat has a rush chance that's held, the shots are 4-2 to two Islanders, 7 minutes in. Uh, good forechecking by the Sens, the Islanders then press at the half, they're kept to the outside, Stutzla has a rush chance that's saved, Greg has a rebound, that's held. Uh, and then at 11.46, Kachuk scores to tie the game from Batherson and Brandstrom, so... Uh, Senators manage to tie this one up on the road, and then they look for the lead on the next shift. Uh, they have six straight shots on net at that point. The Islanders having struggles getting to the Sens net. Giroux has a one-timer this kick to side. Stutzla can't bury one in close. The Islanders went about nine and a half minutes between shots in this second period. Uh, the Sens press with four minutes left, and then on a rush chance that results from a turnover, Paul Mary scores to put the Islanders ahead again, two to one. Uh, Pajot and Lee with the assists at 16-22. And then McLean's denied and close. So the Islanders look for another. Uh, the Sens press in the final minute. The Islanders press to close it. It's 2-1 to one Islanders after two. Third period. Stutzla has a shot that deflects wide. The Islanders press at a minute and a half. Uh, Sens then get some pressure at two minutes. So both teams able to set up and get shots. And then it goes the other way. It was very, very close in that way. Uh, Brandstrom has a shot that saved. The Islanders clear. There's a near miss for Kachuk on a rush chance. Um, Holmstrom has a screenshot that saved, pucks cleared out, and then on what was their fifth shot of the period, Ridley Gregg scores for the Sens from Stutzla and Zub at 6.35 to tie it. The Islanders only had two shots on that to that point, so the Senators playing a very good road period to that stage. Uh, Chickren's then denied, the rebound's cleared, there was a near miss for Engvall. Uh, Sanderson gets shaken up along the boards, looked like he twisted his ankle there, hopefully he's alright. Uh, Kachuk to Pinto near miss, the shots are 5-4 to four Ottawa at the half. Uh, power power play for Ottawa, easy for me to say, and they would score on it. It is Kachuk, a one-timer from the slot, Stutzla and Batherson with the assists at 12-14, and that puts Ottawa ahead 3-2. Sens look for another, Engvall's denied at the other end, so Engvall's all around the net today, just could not get himself a goal. Uh, things get pushed in a hold by Corpusala with 150 left, the Islanders get a power play, so that quickly becomes a 6 on 4. There's an early save and clear, Dobson has a shot that's held, and then on a one-timer pass to screen, Horvat ties the game. Dobson and Barzell with the assists at 19-22. So we're going to overtime. The overtime, uh, Sanderson has a net drive that's turned over. So, you know, Sanderson stays in the game. I just With ankles, you never know. Guy takes off his, his skate at the end of the game and might balloon up. Anyway, uh, teams exchange rushes. Barzell's tonight for the slot. We get a power play for the Sens. Uh, and they would score on it. At 4.36, it's Kachuk from Pinto and Stutzla. Uh, it was a two-on-one rush, so not your standard power play goal, but it's a four-on-three, so these things can happen. The Senators go in and play spoiler in New York. Uh, they win 4-3. to three. They go to 28-33-4. and four. I believe that's their third win in a row. Uh, the Islanders 29-22-15 and 15 with the overtime loss. Shots on net 8-5 to five auto in the first, 13-12 Islanders in the second, 13 to 6 Islanders in the third, 4 to 2 Ottawa in the overtime. Final shots 33 to 30 for the Islanders. Power plays 2 for 3 for Ottawa, 1 for 3 for the Islanders. Hits 21 to 14 for the Islanders. Corpusalo 30 saves on 33 shots. Varlamov 26 saves on 30 shots. So there you go. You're all caught up on the first two games. I'm now watching the Rangers in Pittsburgh and uh, the New Jersey Arizona game starting in about an hour's time. So. I'll do my best to get the Pittsburgh Rangers review up, and then the other 11 will go out on their own. 
uh, to end out the night. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so thus far. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I'll talk to you again soon.